let us pray. Our kind and loving Father, please may you help us as we are starting the children's sermon. Please may you help us to be attentive in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. The Glorious Choral has been presenting the children's sermon for the month of December. Our theme this month is The Lord's Supper also known as the Holy Communion. On the first Sabbath of this month, we learned about Christ, the sacrificial lamb. We reminded ourselves why we celebrate the Lord's Supper. When we take the Holy Communion, we remember that Christ died for our sins, and because of his sacrifice, we have hope for eternal life with our Father in heaven. Last Sabbath, as we walked through the sanctuary, we reminded ourselves what the articles in the sanctuary represented. The children of Israel would slaughter a lamb to represent Christ's sacrifice for the atonement of sins. But after Jesus died, he paid the price, and we no longer have to come with animal sacrifices when we come to church. The curtain that separated the holy place from the most holy place was torn into two because God wanted us to know that through the cleansing blood of Jesus, we could now access him and we were never separated from him. The grape juice that we drink during the Holy Communion represents Christ's blood that was poured for our sins. Well, something very important we are learning here. Jesus washed his disciples' feet. We will talk a bit about this. So, our topic for today's children's sermon is Christ, Christ the Servant Savior. And our memory verse comes from the book of Mark chapter 10 verse 45. And it says, For even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve others, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Imagine you and your friends are at a birthday party. You go and throw away your plastic cup in the trash can, and it is overflowing. It is smelly and nasty. You think to yourself, surely someone else should take care of it. After all, you have a good time and not to clean up after everyone else, right? That's probably what the disciples were thinking when they sat down to eat the Passover meal. It was a servant's job to wash other people's feet. The disciples wouldn't think of doing it themselves. During the meal, Jesus went to get a big bucket of water and a towel. He washed his disciples' feet. One by one, he washed their feet and dried them with a towel. Back then. People walked on muddy and dusty roads without shoes or wearing sandals. They probably stepped on dirt and camel poop. And now, Jesus was kneeling right next to their smelly, sweaty, dirty, stinking, poop caked feet. And although this seems pretty gross, Jesus was teaching his disciples how to act like him. You see, Jesus came to us so he could serve other people. Even if that meant lowering himself and scrubbing other people's feet, that's how important he thought serving was. He wanted his disciples to show people how he would act. Even if that meant, if, 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 even if that was, 
lowering himself and scrubbing other people's feet. That's how he thought serving was. And Jesus wanted his disciples to show other people how he would act, even if he wasn't living on earth anymore. At first, Peter didn't want Jesus to wash his feet. He was horrified. This was too dirty for, of a job for his Savior. But Jesus explained, you, you call, call me teacher and Lord, and you say, well, for so I am. If I then, your Lord and your Lord teacher, have washed your feet, you also should wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that you should do as I have done. We find this in John chapter 13, verses 13 to 15. In Philippians chapter 2, verses 5 to 8, Paul says that in our relationship with others, we should have the same mind as Christ, who being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God as something to be used to his own advantage and made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant. He humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. This is the most beautiful description of what Jesus did to us. I have a song that we could teach, uh, that we could sing to teach others to be like Christ. Make me a servant, humble. children's sermon. Take care of us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now, from Glorious Choral, that is all we have for today. Join us next Sabbath as we learn more about the Lord's Supper. Bye! Bye.